Good morning. Um, this is my response to On Point HQ's historical books challenge, three historical books that I would recommend. Um, that was a really, really difficult thing for me to decide on. I have a lot of books, many that I go back to on a regular basis, from all periods of history, from uh, ancient Egypt, the Canaanites, through to uh, present day. Um, I like to read historical uh, books uh, and I have a pretty extensive library. But what I thought I'd do is uh, choose three books which um, changed the way that I thought about things um, and that when I first read them had a, a, a wow factor. Uh, and the first one is the one in front of you here. This is by Mark Zula, Zulke, Zulke, I don't know how to pronounce that name. But it's on the uh, Canadian campaign in Italy. Uh, it's one of three books. It's not the first book, it's the middle book. So the first book is on Ortona. Um, this is the book that deals with the Monte Cassino campaign and the breaking of the Gustav and Hitler lines and the thrust towards Rome. And the third one is a little later in the war with the uh, attack on the Gothic line uh, up around Ravenna and Bologna and places like that. He's also done uh, three books on Normandy, uh, which are pretty good reads in themselves. So there's one on Juno Beach, one on Holding Juno, and then Breakout from Juno. But this is the first one I, I read. And I came across it because I was trying to do some research into the Italian campaign and uh, I picked it up and it's an absolutely fantastic read. Um, the author interviewed many veterans and has woven their stories into the overall campaign in a way that's pretty easy to, uh, to follow and is engaging and you become uh, invested, I suppose, in the in the characters that he has. Uh, it's The pace is, is good. There's enough detail uh, to make you understand what's going on without bogging you down. Uh, a thoroughly recommended author, thoroughly recommended book. Uh, once I'd read this, I went on to read Ortona and the Gothic Line, and from there, the uh, three on the Normandy campaign. I think there might even be more on sort of later northwest Europe. Um, but I didn't go on and get those uh, with a butterfly attention span like mine. I'd moved on to other things by then. But this one, if you can find it, excellent book. Now the second uh, I got this uh, some years ago, this is the Kaiser's Battle, it's about the uh, German offensive in 1918 on the Western Front. Um, I, I knew it existed, but I didn't have any detail on it, and so this was uh, something I picked up um, a little reluctantly, I think, because First World Battles are always boring, aren't they? But uh, I was really, really taken with how this unfolded. Background to the story, obviously uh, in 1917 um, two major things happened. One, the Americans started to enter the war and they were beginning to build up their forces on the Western Front and two, Russia was knocked out of the war. So the Germans had a strategic uh, dilemma, uh, an opportunity uh, but within a short window. Uh, to strike at the uh, Western Allies before the Americans were there in strength. And this is the story of that battle, that campaign, if you like. Um, it's a fascinating read. The Germans strike at the British portion of the line and come so close to breaking it. Uh, it buckles, it, it bends, it, it's forced back, um, but eventually it holds. And Martin Middlebrook is an author that makes that warfare 
understandable and interesting. And from this, I had a new appreciation of the First World War uh, and went on to read about many other things. Uh, another great book, if you can get it, even if you're not particularly interested in the First World War, this is, in my opinion, the way that history uh, should be written. Now my third choice is a little weird in, in many ways. It's a very, very old book now. Very old book. And it's this one. Uh, Thucydides, The Peloponnesian War. Now, I came across this when I was just in my 20s. I think I might have just been 20. And I was in a bookshop in Manchester. Sheridan Hughes, I think it was. I don't think it's there anymore. Um, and I came across this range of Penguin classics. And I, just looking through it, I came across this and Herodotus. Um, and I took this home. And at the time, this blew me away that somebody had been writing two and a half millennia earlier recording the events of a war between Greece and Sparta. And I took this home and I read it and it was just a wonderful experience. Sort of being able to listen to uh, a contemporary uh, explain the war. Now, I know there's a lot of uh, uh, criticism of Thucydides uh, uh, in classical circumstance, uh, circles. Uh, I don't think his, his Greek's particularly good. Uh, I, I, I've no way of judging that, but I, this is what I've heard. Um, and obviously there is uh, bias involved in it. Um, but to get a contemporary's perception of this major war, I was I was just hooked, um, and I've I've got a, still got a library of Penguin classics, um, Herodotus, as I say, but uh, I've also got Caesar, uh, uh, Anna Comnena. A whole, uh, whole host of, of ancient historians I didn't know existed until I found this book and was encouraged to explore further. Um, Livy, Polybius, Appian, a whole range of people writing about things that I was interested in uh, at the time. Um, and that, for me, in some ways started... Uh, my enthusiasm, it's, it's always been there. I'd got uh, airfix plastics, uh, American Civil War and uh, uh, Romans and ancient Britons and Germans and British. But this opened a new door for me and it's been a wonderful adventure since then. Um, so great idea from On Point HQ. Uh, I hope uh, these three books are interesting to people. I could have chosen three completely different books um, easily. I've got one on Jutland which is fantastic. Uh, I keep on going back to uh, Duffy's uh, biography of uh, Frederick the Great. Um, I've got some books that are just beautifully illustrated, wonderful things. But I thought these three were the most interesting I could talk about at the moment. So I hope that's been useful for other people and uh, I'll be back with some more figures soon. Thank you.